All right, hello. Okay, so this video is only in my special group, Women Creating Healthy Lives. So I don't know if anybody's on, I can't tell. Let me just go over to the page. Make sure it's there. Good God, might not be. <laughs> might not be actually. Oh no, there it is, okay. It is there, all right. Welcome to all the new people. My goodness, there's been a lot of people joining lately. So if you are new to this group, comment, say hello down below, even if you're watching this as a replay. And I'd like to say hello to you and welcome to the group. And also at any time you can post things in the group of topics you'd like me to cover, suggestions for videos or things you'd like me to post, or maybe there's a recipe you want, something you want a good recipe for, a healthy recipe for, you can feel free to post that in the group and ask, any questions and I'll be there as much as I can to answer and help you. And somebody requested that I do a video, um, they had a question about IBS specifically and digestive problems and I have gone through a lot before I was diagnosed with irritable bowel syndrome when I was in my 20s. And I'm 53 now if uh, you're new and you're not sure much about me, <laughs> hello and welcome. Uh, I was in my 20s when I was diagnosed with that, you know, that whole IBS thing. And they're like, well, there's nothing we can do. And then you can always go on over-the-counter drugs and they want to, or, or even on prescribed drugs. And I knew at that time that there was no way I wanted to do that. Uh, but I did also go to naturopaths and people who I had a lot of testing done. And I also uh, was on like some sort of elimination diet. Now that's something to consider too. So if you... Um, have been diagnosed with IBS and you're like thinking, oh, maybe you're on medication right now. And somebody is saying, oh, you should do an el elimination diet. It seems like, oh, I don't want to do that. That's going to be horrible. What a terrible thing for me to do, right? But actually, it is a really good thing to do. And it's also something because they're, you're go they're going to want to take out of your diet the things that I suggest anyways, right? The wheat, the gluten, the dairy, the um, sometimes a lot of times um, they'll say corn, and if you actually look at reading labels, you'll see how multidextrin is is a corn sugar. So if you see any labels with multidextrin, which is in a lot of things, even some vitamins and stuff, then that has to do with like a corn. So if they say to get off all corn, you'll you'll really have a hard time believing how many things corn is actually in. So. Now, if you have IBS or any digestive problems, some of the things that you could start doing are, of course, make sure that you get off the wheat, the gluten, the dairy, because those are high allergen. Those are things that are going to flare up your digestive system. Those are things that are going to cause mucus in your system. Those are things that are going to cause bloating and digestive issues. Also, um, some people have problems with eggs, just to let you know, and some people have problems with soy. So eggs, soy, and corn, any type of corn stuff. Those are other things you could completely eliminate. Now, that still leaves you with a whole lot of stuff to eat, right? Huge amounts of food to eat. Um, you also want to start taking probiotics and get some good probiotics from a health food store. Yes, some yogurt, they say, is good for your probiotics and has those good qualities in it. But the problem is, is that... It has very little. And unless you're using some really high quality, plain, really good kefir, and you are not lactose intolerant, then that is, yes, it's quite good for you. But it's you shouldn't just do kefir to think that's gonna cause that's gonna like solve the problems because it will not. Probiotics, good probiotics, and I'd say 50 billion. So you'll see that there's numbers on them: 10 billion, 25 billion, 20. I'd say go 50 or above. And yes, they're more expensive. They're totally worth it. 50 or above um, for probiotics, you could take, I for sure recommend digestive enzymes, and you can buy those at a health food store. Probiotics are in the cold section where they store the cold things. Uh, digestive enzymes are just on the shelf. You can ask about those. And then you could consider things like making your own sauerkraut or having fermented foods. If you buy, if you choose to buy those things, you really, really want to watch because you want to make sure they're organic and they don't have any other ingredients in them like sugars and vinegars and things like that. So you want to get the good stuff. 
you can even buy it. You can even, it's so easy to make your own sauerkraut or your own fermented vegetables anyways. Look that up. I have a video online on sauerkraut. My YouTube channel is super easy to make. So those are the things. And also you're going to follow food combining rules. Very, very important if you have IBS. That's one of the things that changed and helped me out a lot was following food combining rules. That basically means this is the simple version. No fruit. Why they say no fruit later in the day is because when you combine, when you put fruit on top of food that hasn't digested in your system yet, what it does is it can't digest. So it sits and ferments and bubbles and causes bloating and uncomfortableness and it actually spoils. So you don't want that going on. So if you have fruit first thing in the morning, you have nothing really else in you. The food should have moved through you fine. So then you have fruit first thing in the morning. It's able to digest really fast and it goes out. Then the heavier food can go on throughout the day, right? So you want the lightest and the, the um, that type of food first and then a little bit heavier, right? Unless there's hours, at like four hours in between, right? And then, so that means like at a meal, you don't consume like a potato and meat at the same time because your, your stomach gives off like enzymes to to digest the starch or digest the protein one or the other. So let's say if you have protein if you have let's say a steak and a potato in the same meal, you're not going to digest them both very well. You're going to digest one and then the other one's going to slowly kind of digest but it's not going to digest very well. So what you would do is have potatoes and pasta with vegetables or greens. I don't suggest having pasta but with the greens or vegetables and then you, or, or you would have, let's say, a meat protein with vegetables or greens, but you do not combine the starchy carbohydrates and the meat protein in the same meal at all. That's just something to remember. So you can look up food combining rules. There's a lot of information online and a lot of good charts that you can follow. You also want to start consuming higher alkaline foods. I've talked about this before. You can also Google high alkal or higher alkaline foods or acidic and alkaline food charts. I have a couple right on this page. I just posted them yesterday. So you can take a look at that and you can get a good idea. Those are our greens. Those are our vegetables. And those are most of some of our fruits. Those are the really high quality foods that have the nutrients that have the higher tr traces of minerals, which are alkaline and they help your body to naturally detoxify. You help your digestive system to function better. So if you have a lot of problems with your digestive system or IBS, it could be either really serious or getting to be serious or not too serious. Either way, you need to take care of it soon. And so what you could also do is something like a cleanse. And that could be like we have something here in Canada called the Wild Rose Cleanse. Go to your health food store and just say, I want a herbal cleanse, herbal cleanse. You still eat while you're going through it. It's not a cleanse where you don't eat. So it's a cleanse where you still eat and yet you consume some herbs or something that are in these bottles and these tinctures and you take those at the same time. And that also, they have some good bacteria that they help to replace into your digestive system because often our digestive system, gut flora is all out of balance and bacteria and that's what causes the digestive problems in the IBS. So doing one of those types of cleanses for your gut, balancing things out again is really good while you are giving up the gluten, the dairy, the corn, things like that, right? Thanks for those. That's really important too. So then you can do the cleanse too and you will start to feel so much better. You'll probably notice more energy, less bloating, feeling better taking the probiotics, taking the digestive enzymes, <laughs> right? It seems like a lot, but the thing is, is that if you don't do that, your health is just going to go downhill. The problem with digestive system is that's where we absorb our nutrients from. So if our digestive system isn't working well, we're unable to absorb the nutrients from the food that we're eating. So even though you're eating high quality foods, if your digestive system isn't working that good, you can't absorb those nutrients. So very, very important. And also, um, what else was I going to say? Yeah, of course, having the green smoothies. So it's really about getting your digestive system back into feeling better. And of course, continuing with healthy foods and continuing with changing your diet. Because if you don't, the, what's going to happen is you're going to begin to start feeling terrible again, right? And it's just going to continue to go downhill. Your gut, 
They said if you have a healthy gut, you tend to have a healthy body. If you have a very unhealthy gut, that is going to lead to more illness and disease in any area of your body. So this is how important it is. It is very, very important. Um, do your doctors know? No. Many of these things, no. I would not expect a regular MD doctor to know a lot about, like taking all these different things and changing your diet. Not at all. They don't learn about nutrition. So they don't have that knowledge. See a natural doctor, natural path, or a nutritionist to really get guided on what to eat and all of those things specifically for you. Very, very important. This is extremely important. This is something you cannot let go. You cannot let slide and you cannot let go downhill because it will lead to serious illness and disease in the future if you don't get this straightened out as well as it takes up when you have problems with the digestive system, your energy is very low, you're very sluggish. Um, it Also, you can't detoxify, so your body just builds up with more toxins, which can tax the liver, uh, can also affect, well, just every organ in your body and everything. So it's just, it's something that I can't even express how important it is to get those things straightened out. So if you're just tuning into this video, Please watch it from the beginning because I give you some tips on things that I really suggest you look at, take, and do to really help support your digestive system and maybe help to get rid of the digestive distress. <laughs> Whether you have IBS, acid reflux, or anything starchy. Oh, yeah, another thing I want to add is anything starchy. So you're looking at your big starchy carbohydrates like pastas or like I suggested, no gluten anyways, but even the gluten-free stuff, the starchiness, the muffins, all of those things really start to decrease those while you're he healing your gut. And sometimes, I went really high raw and it completely helped me, totally. But if you have a really compromised, really not good digestive system, if you go really high raw, like lots of fresh vegetables and fruit, that's a lot of fiber at once. It's also a lot of work for your digestive system to break down. You may not be ready for that. It may cause a lot of irritation, bloating, and uncomfortable feeling. If you feel that, cut back on the raw foods, still eat a lot of vegetables and greens, but lightly cook them and eat them in more of a lightly cooked state. That will make a big difference. And you can even blend them. So <laughs> that is my very important tip that I should have added at the beginning. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. It was here, Tammy. Hi, Tammy. And if you have any questions, comments, whatever, post them in the comments below and I will answer them. And as well, feel free to leave me any suggestions for future videos and trainings and even recipes. All right. This is Diana. Take care. Bye-bye.